Sagittarius friends, welcome to Tarot Readings by Roxby. So I'm going to be doing a bi-weekly for you guys. For the, it's going to go for the next two weeks. I hate when I have to do this for you guys. I like doing the weeklies, but I have a lot going on and I just have to. So I do apologize, but I am going to do the Celtic Cross spread for you guys. It's going to go from January 7th to January 20th which on the 20th, there is a full moon, for those of you that care. Sagis, so Sagittarius, please keep in mind, I'm reading for a lot of you. It's impossible for the reading to resonate for every single one of you. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't, feel free to watch your other signs. We all the year for you guys. Sagittarius, sun, moon, and rising sign spirit. January 7th to the 20th, 2019. Sagittarius. Sagittarius. All oh, my Sagittarius friends. Your cards feel perfect. Okay, doing this all to cross spread for you guys. <coughs> so sorry. I've been talking all day. Sagis, those of you that would like to get a private reading, follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Instant Go. If you like the quick question answered, links to everything that you guys need are right below the video in the description box. time getting you guys to see all these cards. Wow, very nice. Okay. Knight of Wands is at the bottom of the deck. This is going to be the overall energy for the next two weeks. It's your energy. I like that. So some of you are definitely feeling fiery, passionate, ambitious over the next two weeks, having a lot of enthusiasm and ready to move forward. Some of you could be traveling, but definitely very passionate and creative. And you're feeling pretty damn happy with the sun card or you're dealing with a Leo. That's bringing you this happiness. This is feeling vibrant, success, joy, good health, your health improving. It is the most positive card in the entire deck. It's amazing energy. You're feeling really energized, really, with the Knight of Wands, the sun. I think you're really feeling peppy. Yeah, could be vacationing to a warm, sunny place, exotic place, but I said, really, with the Five of Wands crossing you, for some of you, I feel like with the Five of Wands crossing you, you're dealing with challenges, and if you're women... A woman, you know, that's been trying to conceive with the sun. Definitely give that a go. You know, you and some of you, uh, you could be dealing with confusion when it comes to conception. Having challenges with that. Like, I don't want to jump the gun here, but if that's the case, I do see that coming to an end for you. The sun is also, you know, 
not just a very abundant, successful energy, but it's also very much a healing energy. And I see you shining bright. And right at this, you know, right now, well, today's the fourth. But I feel like you're, you're already coming into the reading, you know, feeling Queen of Swords is under there. Maybe some of you are dealing with an air sign female. But just really being in a great place right at the start of the first week. And, and, and feeling fiery and passionate. With the Five of Wands, whatever this is for you, the, the Five of Wands, you know, it's, it's, I see you coming out successful. There's either competition around you or there's jealousy around you or you're not getting along with people that you work with. Definitely. You know, it's petty energy. It's, you know, people at work could be, you know, water cooler, smoke break, gossip, bullshit behind your back. It happens all the time. Just having petty disputes at the workplace. Some, you know, just obstacles that you, that you have to deal with. I think people are annoying you, really, more than anything else. Because regardless, I see you shining bright. Regardless of what this petty shit is. You know, I think you're trying to reach this beautiful place of happiness and joy. And you're dealing with challenging assholes that don't want to see you succeed. And if that's the case, I mean, definitely I see that coming to an end. Definitely. The majority of you are definitely shining brightly. I do feel like some of you could be dealing with just, honestly, jealous bitches at work. I do think some of you could be dealing with Big time jealousy at the very start of the first week. For some of you, definitely. You know, with the sun, the page of pentacles here, some of you definitely have a child that could be important. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. So a child, even children, for some of you. You know, with something going on with this child, you know, maybe, maybe this is you and your ex. You have a child or children together. This could be you guys not getting along, but I strongly feel like everything will work itself out if that's the case. Also with the Page of Pentacles, this could be communication that came through. That brought in a lot of happiness regarding your career, finances. I mean, whatever it was, it brought in with the sun, it brought in, a, you know, because the foundation is what brings you to here. So, Sag, whatever came in definitely made you very happy. You know, an opportunity to make more money. It could have been some sort of raise or promotion, but really positive. And in the recent, more recent past, you know what, you know, a couple months ago, a couple weeks ago, you have the Knight of Pentacles. You know, this person plans, strategizes, definitely you if you have Earth in your chart, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. So this could have been you planning out details, taking steps, being cautious before you do anything. 
Could have been things happening very slowly. But at least, you know, moving forward in some way, shape, or form. You know, with this night's energy, you know, for as much as I love the Knight of Pentacles, and I do, because, you know, of all the knights, this knight is the only one that's ever successful. You will reach your goal if you haven't already. It could be that an earth sign person was important in the past, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. This person could have even offered something to you. Now, crowning you. Now, keep in mind in your foundation, you know, I think you're trying to, you know, study something, learn something as well. Build something up, right? You're probably working hard at it. You know, you're dealing with challenging bitches or dudes, whatever, I don't care. And what you're thinking about is the Ten of Wands. So, Sag, I really feel like you're annoyed with these people. Whatever's been annoying you, Whatever has been difficult and challenging or weighing you down, annoy, you know, annoying you, it is coming to an end. It, it, it is a 10. After the 10 comes the ace. It's coming. I mean, you're feeling burdened. Weighed down by something. A situation with the five of wands. I think it is all absolutely. It's definitely coming to an end for you. It really is. For some of you, you're just simply, really, you're working too hard. And now you've been presented with this offer to make extra money. You know, we did just celebrate the holidays. You could have started it even then in December. It got used to that extra money. And you're still doing it. And you're taking on way too much. And I, I definitely think you need to take a break. Or maybe you feel like, you know, once you climb this mountain, that's why you're working so hard. You know, you've, you, you're done, which you're probably right. But you know what? Listen, ask for help. Either lighten the load or ask for help. There's two people here, not one. And you do have friends if you're not dealing with gossip and crap. It really, I mean, this simply just states that you need a break. You need to lighten the load. This is a social energy. You need to get out and about, spend time with your friends. Connect with friends you haven't spoken to in a while. But it's also, for some of you, I really think you want to celebrate something. You want to celebrate, you want to celebrate for some of you. Maybe you are conceiving. Others of you got a new job. You're excited. You're happy. You want to share it. You want to celebrate it. Totally different energy than what you start out with the first week. The second week is much lighter for you. Some of you, honestly, you really just need to really lighten the load, really, or ask for help. 
You see yourself as the Five of Pentacles. It could be feeling broke, a lack financially. But I honestly see you feeling very sad and lonely. Hurt. Or someone else does, a Virgo Taurus Capricorn. If it's you, you really need to reach out to your friends. You know, the Five of Pentacles could also be... I, don't, I just feel like you're, you're sad and depressed here. I mean, it could mean that you feel alone, a lack of support from family, friends. You know, I think some of you absolutely need to get back in contact with old friends. I think some of you definitely need a, a more optimistic viewpoint. And there's the need for balance. I honestly feel a lot of you are spreading yourself, Sag, way, way too thin. Way too thin. And why do I feel like I've given you guys this message before? Like I all of a sudden just feel that. It's got to be true. Definitely. Somebody leave a comment. In your environment and people around you, you have justice. I mean, balance, definitely. We just talked about that. It could be making an important decision. But I do feel like things are coming into balance for you. You're not working so hard. You know, maybe you were able to split up your time somehow or you, or you quit your job and you feel broke. Some of you, uh, there might be a marriage or a long-term commitment that's coming to an end, definitely with this energy here. You probably found out there was a third party involved. Maybe it had did something to do with one of your friends. Now that would be for a very small number of you. And underneath this Knight of Wands, I knew I was going to end up bringing up this Queen of Swords. What does she look like she's standing on? The balcony of a courthouse, right? I do see her not just as a lawyer, but I see her as a judge as well. You know, with justice here, some of you are going through a divorce. It's not final yet. You know, I think you're, look at the Seven of Wands. You're still fighting. I love, like, the Three of Wands. She's wishing and willing, waiting for her. See the star? The shooting star, there's confusion. Literally wishing and willing for her dreams and wishes to come true. Nine of Cups, emotional happiness, and the Wheel of Fortune. And it stops there if you really do have Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn in your sun, moon, or rising. Really. So, for others of you, there's a relationship that's come to an end. You're probably making the decision to end the relationship. If not a marriage, it could be a business partnership. It would be anything that would involve a contract. So for some of you, you might be, especially with the Queen of Swords, taking that sword and making the decision to end some sort of business partnership. And I feel like if that's the case, you know, if you're ending like a marriage, a relationship, I do honestly feel like 
it really was weighing on, weighing you down. And it definitely wasn't serving you. You could, you know, probably relate to this. You could probably relate this to a business relationship as well. I feel like whatever this... Whatever this was you did... You did not get what you needed from this relationship. Whether it be business or romantic. Like, I really feel like, Sag, there was a massive void in whatever this was. Work, marriage, it does, whatever. Like, I feel like it wasn't fair either. Like, you were the one that was always giving. This person could have been, you know, a taker, you know, always taking, taking, taking and never giving back, you know, where... You know, giving you love and support that you needed. I feel like it was just not equal. It wasn't a fair partnership. You know, but this is justice being served. You know, it's 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 also a karmic energy. So, you know, I just feel like however, however you relate to this, Things will be made fair and will be made right because the Queen of Swords is also a truth seeker. All about the truth, nothing but the truth. So, you hold all the cards. And justice will be served. You will get your answers. There's definitely more balance and fairness coming into your life. It's If it was a relationship that was weighing you down, the best thing for you, for you because... I don't want to say this. You know... If it was a relationship that was weighing you down... This is the best thing for you because you are going to be able to move towards something much better. And for some of you, the sun's energy could have been something just like the Queen of Swords. Difficult came to light. There could have been a Leo or a Virgo Taurus Capricorn person that had something to do with this. And, you know, with the Three of Wands being in your hopes and fears, which is very interesting. I mean, it's definitely a third-party situation for some of you. You could be someone, Sag, that met someone. I mean, it could go either way. You know, if you're not the other person, this is literally you waiting, wanting things to progress, wanting things to move forward, you know, wanting your wishes and dreams to come true. If you're resonating to this reading, This way, I still see movement. And you have a beautiful outcome, which is the world. 
you know, which is everything coming full circle. Like this is completion. You've made it. You have successfully made it. You've completed a very long chapter within your life, within your life. And now you're moving on to the next chapter of your life. It really is a beautiful, blessed energy. You know, at the end of the second week, you're healing. You're com you're completing uh, difficult cycles. You know, with the Knight of Wands, you're excited, you're passionate. And honestly, you could go in either direction, any direction you want. With Justice, you definitely could be signing a contract for a new job. You could definitely be receiving a legal decision or making one, waiting on one. But it will go in your favor. If this is legal, it will, things will absolutely go in your favor. There's a lot here. I can't believe we're 26 minutes into this reading. Not even clarify nothing yet. I mean, really, there's opportunities coming in for you. I just think really with the Five of Pentacles, you're just, especially if you have Earth in your chart, you're just feeling sad, lonely, depressed, and you need your friends and your family. Really. <coughs> I'm so sorry. Okay, let me grab a quick drink. The After Tarot. If I didn't mention... It's what comes next after regular tarot. All right, let me, I want to go right here. I'm going to do the five of wands and the sun together. Okay. These are only right in the upright too, guys. I'm sorry, I should have mentioned that first. They're not actually flipped up, but I'm going to take them. <coughs> I'm so sorry, guys. Excuse me. I am just getting over strep throat, too. Whoa, the moon. Whoa, and the tower. Okay, guys. Um, definitely dealing with the Scorpio. And definitely... De guys, definitely, definitely something is coming to light in a big, shocking way. That could be good. That could be bad. Uh, guys, I'm a fan of the tower. Those of you that don't know that, why not? It knocks everything to the ground after going through bullshit. But it gives you the opportunity to start over, which is going to be much better for you. This, is, this cannot be changed or stopped. It's emotional with the moon. But. It's also psychic abilities. I think some of you know this is coming. You know this is happening. And you're ready for it. You're ready. You're ready to move forward anyway. So you anticipate this. I mean, that's... I'm going to be honest. For the majority of you, I feel like it's definitely a three-party situation that somebody finds out about and literally blows the, the, the roof off the house. I mean, not literally, literally, but you know what I mean. Be a Leo, Scorpio. Okay. All right, let's. All right, let me look at the Ten of Wands first. Actually, no, I'm going to go to the Three of Cups. The Three of Cups. Wow, I can't 
leave your cards just like keep falling on the floor. You have the death card twice. So this this needs to end. Whatever this is, it's it's over. You need to go to one person. One. One. It looks like somebody wants to beat the hell out of somebody too. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Let me look at the Five of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles. Okay. Look at that. Temperance. Guys, all of this is... Look at the Dove, too. All of this is spiritual. This is meant to be. This is meant to happen. However you resonate with this. It's meant to be. And their balance is coming in. Definitely. After, after all of this, surprisingly, balance really is coming in. Let me see this three of wands, what you really are waiting on. Definitely, definitely this one. Wow. Page Cups, Pisces, or this emotional love offer that is coming in for you. Or opportunity. Oh my God. I showed you guys this card before. It fell out for you guys. So you're wishing and willing it here. And you really are. And you do have help. That's just really... Beautiful, Sag. Wow, I did not expect that. And it really is very much, this is very much meant to happen. But this revelation is going to be huge. Whether it is a three-party situation, work, I mean, you might up and leave your job. You might be shocked that a Scorpio, maybe a Leo, just up and left their job. It's something. It's something. Right down to your husband or wife sleeping with your best friend. I mean, really, it could be. All right, Sag, I hope this helps you guys out. If not, you know, take what resonates, leave what doesn't, watch your other signs. I mean, if anything, this is a, this, I mean, the reading is not bad. I mean, it, it is pretty good, but this outcome is absolutely amazing. And so is this. I mean, really. Like, suck it in. It really is beautiful. Love you guys. I will see you guys back here soon. Take care.